All right, we're going to do 10.3. So this time, hypothesis testing for the mean. So again, pretty much the same thing as we did last time, except this time we're doing stat t stat one sample with summary. Sample mean 18.1. Standard deviation is four. Sample size is 16. And the test is, the mean is 20 and less than 20, left tail test. So T stat is uh, minus 1.9. For a left tail test, it's always this one. For a right tail test, it's this one. For a two tail test, it's this one. So this is left tail test. E value is 0 0.03, which is between 0 0.02 and 0 0.05. So that's where the P value fits. And then P value is quite small. Do they give us alpha? They don't give us, oh, here's alpha. So uh, yes, that would be less than. So the researcher will reject the null hypothesis since p-value is less than alpha. So the meaning of p-value and all of that stays the same. So we've got sample mean, 100, 5.7. Sample size, this time's 35, got 103, and then not equal to, two tail test, so minus 3.11, two tail test, is that one, and the 0.003, which is between 001, between 002 and 005, <clears throat> that's where it would fit. All right, P value. Uh, okay, I always assume again that the null hypothesis is true. So if the if mu is actually 100, excuse me, uh, 103. So if mu is 103, so um, this one, this one, or this one. All right, and then p value was, ah, uh, here it goes. So out of a thousand, right, we would expect about three out of a thousand, three or four out of a thousand. So this would be a thousand. This would be a thousand. So here it is right here. About four samples out of a thousand under the assumption that the null is always true. And then if the researcher decides to test this hypothesis, will the researcher reject the null hypothesis? That would be a yes. Small p value always reject the null. Mean height of women 20 years of age and older was 63.7. Proposed random sample 45 women who are 20 years of older resulted in average of 64.2. State the null hypothesis. Well, the null hypothesis would be 63.7. And then the claim, since this 64 is larger, would be that the average is now larger than 64.2. So the null is 63.7. And the researcher is would be, uh, let's see. Well, the, we could do a two-tail test as well. So the null is 63.7 and then uh, different than 63.7 because they don't have anything uh, larger. Oh, they do, I'm sorry, here it is. So the null is 63.7, that's the standard a while back. 
And since this is 64, 2, we would now believe that the average height is larger than this. So larger than 63, 7. So that would be the null and alternative. Suppose p-value is 1, 2. Alpha is 1, so p-value is larger than. So this would be probability of obtaining um, a mean height larger than the sample statistic, so larger than 64, 2. Obtain a sample mean height of 64 or under the assumption that the mean is 63, 7. So that would be the interpretation of a p-value. And then since p-value is larger than alpha, we do not reject the null. So do not reject, do not reject A or C. There is not sufficient evidence is what we always say if we do not reject, reject the null, excuse me. All right, so researchers wanted to measure the effect of alcohol on the hippocampal region, portion of the brain responsible for long-term memory storage. Adolescents. So they select 19 adolescents with alcohol use disorders to determine if the hippocampal volumes in the alcoholic adolescents were less than the 9.02 of the regular. So it's equal to 9.02 is the standard. And then they wanted to know is the hippocampal region for alcoholic adolescents less than the 9.02. And we'll get our summary statistics. Whoops. Get this going here. So the sample mean was 8.02. Standard deviation, 0.7. And the sample size, how many did they select? They selected 19. And the standard is 9.02 and we're doing less than. Test statistic, minus 6.23. E value is, three decimals would be zero, it's really small. And so since the small is we reject the null and that there is sufficient evidence, to con claim that the mean hippocampal volume is less than the 9.02, which is the researcher's hypothesis. All right, so this time we're dealing with credit agencies and they want to assess credit worthiness of individuals. The values range from 300 to 850 with an average or with a credit score over 700, considered to be a quality credit risk. According to a survey, the mean credit score is 707.5. So a credit analyst, which is our researcher, wondered whether high-income individuals had higher credit scores. So the standard credit score is the uh, 707.5, and they wondered if high-income individuals had higher than normal credit scores. And now we'll get our test statistic and so I'll take our sample data. Sample 44, found the sample mean here, standard deviation here. So sample mean 719.7. Standard deviation, 80.6, 44, 707.5, and higher than. Test statistic is 1. P-value, 1.0. So well, that's a large p-value, so we failed to reject. There is not. Claim that the credit score for high-income individuals is higher than. 
the standard of 707.5. <clears throat> All right, so we've got long been stated the mean temperature for humans is 98.6. So two researchers currently involved in the subject thought the mean temperature of humans is less than. So that's their claim. So the mean is equal to. And the mean is less than. So what they did is they measured the temperature of 44 healthy adults one to four times daily for three days, obtaining 200 measurements. That is our sample size. Resulted in a sample mean of 98.2, 1.1 standard deviation. So sample mean, 98.2. Standard deviation. 1.1, sample size 200, standard 98.6, they think it's less than. So we've got our test statistic, minus 5.14. P value small three decimals would be zero. So reject since the p value is less than alpha. Now when you have a data set, you'll uh, do with data. So the original drive-through time was 87.8, and the manager devises a new system. So she believes this new system will decrease wait time. So the average wait time originally, and after the new system, she thinks it's going to lower the wait time. Find a test statistic to do that. You're going to open the data. That t-stat one sample with data. And we're going to do hypothesis testing. And the time is 87.8 and decrease. Cute. Test statistic two decimals minus 1.9 minus 1.9. E value. Is 0.045. And that is less than, so the p-value is less than level of significance. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude the new system is effective. Small p-value always reject. Again, this time they want to determine if the diameter of golf balls conform to the standard of 1.68 inches. So we'll tell you the mean is equal to 1.68, and the mean is not equal to 1.68. So it can be more or less than, and since they don't say in this question, is the diameter more or less than this? you assume that it's going to be a two-tail test. All right. So now we'll get... I already have that up here. Close that one out. So stat, t stat, one sample with data. Put the variable 1.68. Not equal to 1.68. Pute. Test statistic 2 is 0.77. E value is 4.57.
p-value large do not reject and there is not sufficient evidence to cl claim that or conclude that the golf balls do not conform to the association standard. All right, so a date set about speed dating includes like ratings of male dates made by female dates. Summary statistics are here. Uh, use the significance level to claim the population mean of such ratings is less than eight. So equal to eight and less than eight, what we're wanting. Determine the Uh, stat, T stat, one sample with summary. So here's our summary statistics 7.88, and equals 8, and less than 8. Compute. So minus 0.77. E value 0.221. So fail to reject. There is not that the ratings, and you always go back when you say there is or there is not, you're always saying that you either support or you do not support the researcher's hypothesis. What you always go back to is less than eight. All right, 10 pages from a dictionary, the number of words defined on the page are found with results, 64.1 words, standard deviation here. Given the dictionary has 1463 pages, the claim that there are more than 7,000 defined words is equivalent to the claim that the mean number of words is greater than 47.8. So equal 47.8, greater than 47.8. What we're looking for from the researcher now we'll get our uh, sample data. So 64.1, standard deviation, 16.2, sample size is 10. And then we got 47.8. And greater than. Test statistic, 3.18. P value, 0 0.006. Now that is really small, alpha being Point one, so definitely reject. There is support the claim that there are uh, more than 70,000 words on uh, 70,000 uh, defined words in the dictionary. All right, test the claim the mean lead concentration for all such medicines is less than 17. So equal 17, less than 17. This is a data set. So we'll do T stat one sample with data. Put the variable 17 less than 17. Test statistic, minus 2.66. E value, 0.013. So it's quite small. P value, 0 0.1, yep, reject, there is. Let's say that less than. All right, 
students are uh, trying to estimate the length of one minute without reference to a clock. Use the 0.1 level of significance to test claims that these times are from a population with a mean equal to 60 seconds. So equal 60 seconds, not equal 60 seconds. With data. One sample with data equals 60, not equal to 60. 0 0.57 U value, 0 0.576 large P value, so fail to reject. There is not, is not, and fail to reject, we'll do appears, it does appear that the group is reasonably accurate at estimating when one minute goes by. Okay, so I hope this helps and I'll see you on the last video, 10.4.